In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a plug to a wall without going into the attic or the crawl space, also with minimum damage to your wall. I'm going to make it real easy for you. This is Rudy from the Home Improvement Channel with another video showing you how to fix things around the house. If you're a subscribed member to my community, then welcome back. If you're new to this channel, consider clicking that subscribe button below and please like this video if you found it helpful for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so I have this plug right here that I want to add another plug to the wall down there by the door. If you can see the switch there, I want to put one just straight underneath the switch. All right, so you might be asking, well, how do you get the wire over there without cutting a bunch of holes in the wall? or running this down into the crawl space if you have one and over and then back up is one way to do it. Or if you have an attic, you can go up into the attic and over and back down, but that is an awful lot of work. I'm gonna show you an easier way to do that. Uh, what I'm gonna do is remove this baseboard right here and run the wire down and then into the channel behind where the baseboard is at and then back up. So you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do to get your baseboard off is you're going to want to take a razor knife and cut along the top of the baseboard to cut through the caulk so that when you peel this off, it doesn't take half the wall with you. All right, so the way I usually get started is, is I use a, a painter's tool because it's nice and thin. All right, see that? And then I'll take this pry bar behind there like so. And then what I do is, is I... I kind of twist the pry bar down and over like so. Don't go up like this or you'll damage the drywall. Or go up like that. You have to go down and over. And then kind of use your hand like so. And then just work it like that all the way down. All right, so now what we got to do is remove this piece of drywall that was under the trim. You got a nice line right here to mark where the trim was. Uh, but in order to do that, I need to take out the bottom screws out of the drywall. So here's one, here's one. Now if you've got nails, this won't be quite as easy. You'll have to use something like a cat's paw. Here's a picture of that. And then you can dig in and pull the nails out with that. But with screws, it makes it so much more easy. All right, here's where if you have a tool like this, this will come in really handy for this. Now you wanna be careful not to cut above this line, otherwise it's gonna be a whole lot of sadness. So you gotta keep your line below that. Let's go over a little bit past our plug, which is right here. And don't plunge this into the wall very deep because you don't know what's in the wall. We're going to do that all the way down. Okay, so try to carefully remove your drywall. Slowly take it loose because there could be some nails that you didn't see or screws or whatever. There we go. So next what we need to do is drill the bottom of the stud right here where you can see it sticking down. Uh, the goal is to get the hole up as high as you can get it. For one reason, you might hit the nails in the bottom of the stud where it comes through the bottom plate. You don't want to do that. And for another reason, if you put your hole down here, uh, you might hit it with a brad nail when you go to uh, put your trim back. All right, you're going to need to do this on as many studs as you need to to get over to your new plug. And also, if you use a long drill bit, you'll get a better angle on it than you will with a short drill bit. I've already gone ahead and drilled all my other uh, two by fours that I need. There was only three more. Okay, now that I've got my two by fours all drilled on the bottom, I need to establish the location of my next box. All right, so I wanna take the cover off of this one, which I have to anyway, to get to it. Uh, but what I wanna do is measure to the bottom of the outlet right here so I have concrete down here. You may have wood, concrete, or whatever. All right, so I am 16 inches 
off the concrete, okay? All right, so the reason I did that last measurement was is so that I can match the height of my plugs, my new plug. So we're 16 inches off of the concrete here, all right? And we've also got a two by four here that we need to be aware of. So what I did was is measured the two by four off of the door trim. So I have a point in common and I measured over six inches, you know, to make sure that it cleared. All right, and then now what I did was, is I took the box that I'm gonna use and held it up there, right? Exactly where my marks are, and I simply just traced around. Okay, so next you'll just wanna test fit your box. Make sure it fits, and there we go. By the way, this is an old work box, okay? This has got the wings behind it so that it grabs the drywall. All right, so for this next part, you're definitely gonna wanna turn off the power. Let's pull this bad boy out of here and see what we got. All right, so unfortunately, we've got two sets of wires. So our plug, I don't like to use these things in the back here that you push in. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna take both sets of wires off and tie them into a pigtail, and then I'm gonna run one down to my new plug, and then I'm gonna run the other pigtail back up to this plug. What I need to do is establish my new wire through the bottom of this plug, so you can't get to the plug very well from the bottom, so you can get in here and kind of pry, all right, so that you can get your wire through there, like so, just like so. All right, now, I can feed my wire through there. All right, so on this one, I'm not really gonna be able to feed it up from the bottom because there's just not enough of a gap right there for me to get my hand, so feed it up through the plug, like so. All right, now it's coming out, and then we'll just kind of pull it and just feed it through the bottom. All right, so we got our wire run to the other plug. So we're just gonna hook this up and put our pigtail in. So when you're peeling the wire, this is the new wire, you wanna cut it directly in the center and always be careful not to let that slip off of there and get your hand, all right? So just peel it like a banana, peel it in the center. You only need to leave about a quarter of an inch inside the box. Inside the box without damaging your new, you know, your wire. So let's peel these real quick. I like to use this type of a stripper. It's real nice. It's got a gauge on it, so it just makes it easy. Hook it to the other ground. Some of these have a crimp ring on here. Uh, this one doesn't have a crimp ring. It's using one of those green wire nuts, which works well. All right, if you have the crimp ring, then you'll need the tool to crimp the crimp ring but this one is not using that. Just take your Limus pliers, give it a little twist, and this wire nut goes back on here. Just like so. When you put the screws on, make sure to bend the loop in the direction you're tightening the screw so that when you tighten the screw, it doesn't loosen the loop. See what I mean there? The screw tightens clockwise and the loop is going clockwise. So now we just need to uh, make our pigtail because like I said, there was a little bit too many wires in here for the plug. So let's tie these all together. Our two previous wires and our new wire. Now just add your pigtail in there. I'm gonna do the same thing to the white set of wires. Now when you're hooking these up, you've got a brass set of screws on the right side with the ground facing down. The, the brass is on the right and the silver screws are on the left. If you notice the green screw is also on the left. So your white is your neutral and that goes on to the silver screws on the left. Same thing, put the, the loop of the wire in the direction you're tightening the screw. And just kind of put that back. 
looking in the box to make sure that nothing is touching where it's not supposed to be. And put the cover back on once you're done tightening it up. So in this new old work box right here, just take a screwdriver and kind of pop one of those springs loose and get the wire through. Okay. Just do that and go ahead and tighten up the wing nuts behind the drywall. Same thing here, just take a knife and peel it straight down the middle. Go ahead and put your new plug in there. Same thing here, brass screws go to the black wire and silver screws go to the white wire and of course the ground. And go ahead and install your new plug. Okay, got the power back on, got my little uh, plug checker in there and it's working fine. The two uh, neon bulbs on the right are lit like it's supposed to be. Okay, so that's about it. I'm just going to take a caulk gun and run a bead of caulk across the top right there, and then we're done. You can't even tell that I was in there. Okay, thanks for watching.